There is one thing that all artists hate, but they all need if they want to improve faster than they otherwise would. We are told to paint what we love and just do what feels right, but this is a very bad advice for any artist who truly wants to get better. I was a victim of this when I started painting with watercolors three years ago. For the first year I did exactly that, just paint whatever I wanted, however I wanted, but I started to notice that my work wasn't going anywhere. I felt like I wasn't progressing in my skills and, well, I wasn't. Then I stumbled across a video that had nothing to do with painting. It was about climbing and how this person got much stronger by just focusing on a few things. And that's where I got the idea of putting constraints in the things that I want to learn. I limit the amount of colors I use, I limit the amount of brushes I use, I limit the amount of space that I use. And this project of 100 days of plein air painting is a perfect example of me applying exactly this rule. By having limited resources, you are forced to master the things that you actually do have. In the example of colors, when you only have a limited palette, you're going to be forced to know how to mix a green or a blue or whatever the color it is that you need. This makes you more familiar with the colors that you already own and you are able to also know the capabilities of the colors that you already have, which in the end will make you or help you have better decisions when buying new colors to know what colors will enable you to get either different colors or better colors. The same thing applies for brushes, by having one brush that you use all the time, you'll know the capabilities of that brush, how much water it can hold, what kind of marks you can make, if the bristles of that brush are too soft or too stiff, what kind of shapes you can make and which like elements of a landscape you can make much easier with this kind of brush. And just like the colors, when you know your brush so well, you'll be able to know what brushes you need to buy in case you actually find a limitation with the brush that you already have. And since you're buying the right brush, you won't be able, you won't be spending a lot of money on brushes and all that other stuff because you're gonna have the right one. But it doesn't stop there. It will also make you master the tools that you have. You will be able to understand them in a much more in-depth way and make much more educated decisions about what you need to improve your art and yes i've been talking about tools but i also mean about techniques and the understanding of the overall picture like what makes a good painting like the composition colors values all these things just kind of come together and when we just focus on one or two things at a time it will just make our understanding of that subject a lot better and in the process our paintings will just get or they will just improve massively if we try to just do everything at once or not focus on it at all and just try to paint and the reason why i say we need limits or these constraints is that as artists it will help us see a constant and systematic progression in our work because the fundamentals of each element of what makes a good painting will be so ingrained in us and also we know our tools so well that we can just produce artwork without really having to think much about the artwork itself we can just be free while creating and that's the best thing ever <laughs> Thanks for watching.